Hey YouTube, Sergeant Savinelli, coming to you live from the home of the Whaling Freezer. So I finished up dinner tonight and I said to myself, hmm, what shall I smoke tonight? Hey, I know, how about some vintage velvet? Compliments of the Artful Codger. I talked to Ben a little earlier and uh, let him know that the, uh, the tin note that I was getting out of this was considerably different than today's current velvet. But he assures me that the flavor is the same. I've already emptied this into my trusty jar. And I'm going to do the rest of this jar with vintage velvet and mix it up real good and rehydrate it that way. Uh, it is dry. It is very dry. That's to be expected from something from the 50s or 60s. Right? So, just kicking it around, kicking it around. What pipe am I going to use for this? I certainly don't want to break a pipe in with my very first taste of this. I figured I wanted a pipe that was already very well broken in. Um with mostly burly and I settled in on the Friday Savinelli Savinelli 673 Dalamiti I picked this up from Doug Owen from the cargo hold last March or so and this pipe is perfectly broken in this is one of those pipes that I can have an almost perfect smoke every single time. That's how well these things smoke. All right, enough of me yapping. I gotta light this thing. I've been dying, I've been waiting. For, I mean, it got here today, I couldn't, I couldn't wait to get into this. And now here we are. After dinner smoke, vintage velvet in the Friday Savinelli on Tuesday. With the whaling freezer in the back. Holy mackerel. Mm. This tastes more like vintage half and half than it does today's velvet. That's just off the first light. Well, there isn't going to be a second light. This stuff's going to burn right to the bowl on one light. I can tell already. Mmm. What a great flavor profile, though. Mmm. -hmm. Oh, you know what, Ben? You're right. On the short exhale through the nose, there is a similarity to today's, today's velvet. There is a similarity. Not quite the same. But I've found that all of that vintage stuff is different than its namesake of today. They've changed things, obviously. I mean, there's no secret. But I'm going to be, in, this stuff is phenomenal. This tastes unbelievable just the way that it is. I'm almost afraid to rehydrate it with, with regular velvet. Maybe I'll throw a water disc in there. Or one of those, uh, one of those Bovita packages that I use for some humidors. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't think I want to lose this flavor, take a chance on, much as I love today's velvet. This is definitely old school. Definitely reminiscent of the 1920s 
half and half uh, that I smoked with uh, with matches 860. Hey, John, I lit this with a match. Your cat's going to go bananas when she sees this. <laughs> Mm. I cannot get over the flavor of these. These. What well, these? This. Mmm. Holy cow. That is really, really nice. A real piece of history. A super, super tobacco. Aged just right. Nothing quite tastes like it. Except like I said, the uh, 20s vintage half and half does. It's got the same nose to it too. That, that, that room note is about the same as that 20s vintage half and half. Hmm. Boy, I'm really loving this. I could see an old timer from back in the day just smoking this all day. This could very easily be an all day smoke. There's no bite to it whatsoever. None, even in the dry condition that it's in, there's no bite to this. It is absolutely smooth. Getting a little bit of a gurgle in the pipe. That's because I'm a spit machine. Even in these. I thought I was just in the saxophones. Not so much. Smokes very, very cool. And again, no tongue bite whatsoever. Get a little bit of a short retrohale and there's no burn to, to your nostrils. Just uh, unbelievable. Just an un unbelievable flavor profile on this. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm, I'm really going to have to, I'm really going to have to think about whether or not I want to take a chance on mixing the two flavors. I did it with the 20s half and half. I don't know. I'll leave it up to you guys. Pipe in and let me know what you think. Should I mix this with today's velvet to rehydrate it? Or should I throw a water disc in there? Or like a Bovita pack? I'd be interested to, uh, I'd be interested to, to, to hear what you guys have to say. To see your comments. Um, let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll defer to your expertise. One way or the other. Love it. All right, boys and girls, that's a short one for me. I'm going to go finish the rest of this and uh, enjoy a nice cup of coffee with it and then sit and spend some much-needed time with Mama. The crazy work schedules are afoot. This time of the year, it's nuts. We're working doubles and... 12-hour shifts, 16-hour shifts. It's just crazy. But 
such as our lot in life. All right. Hey, listen, I want to thank you guys for joining me. Once again, I want to thank the Artful Codger for his contribution to my old school Codger blends. The real deal, the real old stuff, the vintage stuff. Vintage and old, it's, uh, it's about the same thing. You know, you go over to like China or Japan, it's actually a, an honor to be called old man. Over here, you get a punch in the nose for it some places. I don't care so much. I'm good with it. Thanks a lot for joining me. And we'll see you all again real soon. Ciao for now.